let me give you a set there four elements five six seven and eight let me now give you a binary operation star on this set that is defined by this operation table in the operation table we have denoted a star b as the entry in the column headed by a and the row headed by b now what we need to find out is whether the binary operation star is commutative or not now a binary operation star on a set a is called commutative if a star b equals b star a for every a and b that belong to set a so let's take the commutativity of star and you see that 5 star 6 that is the entry in the column headed by 5 and the row headed by 6 yes we are talking about this element so 5 star 6 equals 7 and what about 6 star 5 look at the table 6 here 5 here this element so we see that 6 star 5 is also 7 and this tells us that 5 star 6 equals 6 star 5 in fact if you go on checking you will find that this argument is true for all the elements of the set with us what this means is x star y equals y star x for all x and y that belong to this set so now we know that the operation star is commutative all right let me now ask you another question does there exist any identity element for the operation star let's find out the answer to this question now we know that for a binary operation star that is defined from a cross a to a an element e that belongs to set a if it exists that is called its identity element if a star e equals a equals e star a for all a that belong to set a now look at the binary operation table let me write down a few expressions there 5 star 8 that equals 5 that in turn is equal to 8 star 5 6 star 8 that equals 6 that in turn is equal to 8 star 6 similarly i've written two other expressions so what can you say now is there any identity element yes that is 8 for the binary operation star now that we have found out the identity element let us also see whether the inverses of all the elements of the set exist or not now for a binary operation star that is defined from a cross a to a with identity element e in a an element a that belongs to set a is said to be invertible if there exists b that belongs to set a such that a star b equals e equals b star a so what are the elements of the set here 5 6 7 and 8 now observe one thing 5 star 5 that equals 8 what about 6 star 7 that equals 8 as well and so does 7 star 6 what about 8 star 8 that also equals 8 so this implies that the inverses of all the elements of the set exist and if you go back to the expressions again you will see that the elements 5 and 8 they are inverses of themselves the element 6 that is the inverse of the element 7 and the element 7 that is the inverse of element 6 so in this way if we are given a binary operation table we can easily find out the identity element and the inverses of the elements provided that they exist